Hemiplegic gait. What is it? Hemiplegic gait is when a patient presents to you with same side of weakness on the affected side. The arm will be flexed, adducted, and internally rotated. The leg on the same side will have extensor hypertonia and the ankle will be in plantar flexion. As you see the patient walk, there will be foot drop on the affected side due to weakness of the dorsiflexors. The patient will also circumduct their leg during gait. If the condition is mild, there won't be flexion of the arm but instead just a loss of normal arm swing and there is slight circumduction of the leg. So why would somebody present with this gait pattern? Someone might present with this gait pattern after a stroke and this is why. Let's say a stroke happens on the right side of the brain in the primary motor cortex. This is located in the precentral gyrus. This bundle of cells is known as the internal capsule. The axons continue to the medulla where they cross to the left side of the body. They then travel down the lateral corticospinal tract Damage to these neurons from a stroke affects motor control. Damage causes two kinds of effects, motor loss and spasticity. Motor loss mainly happens to the distal muscles. In our gait pattern, we see this in the fingers and the foot. Spasticity, the other effect, happens through three things, hypertonia, hyperreflexia, and clonus. We see the spasticity in our gait pattern with the stiff leg and the flexed arm. There will be flexion hypertonia in upper limb and extensor hypertonia in the lower limb. Typically they will develop distal weakness rather than proximal weakness, therefore the thigh will be strong and stiff and the foot will be weak which is why you see the foot drop. In addition, the shoulder will be very strong and fingers will be weak. So how is this going to affect the gait cycle? In the standard gait cycle it starts with a heel strike. With a hemiplegic gait, due to weakness of dorsiflexors, there is no heel strike. The patient circumducts instead because of the weakness in the distal extremities keeping the foot in plantar flexion. Physical therapy can improve overall endurance and strength and range of motion, however nothing is going to fully restore a normal gait pattern. Assistive devices can help with gait and independent functioning. With hemiplegic gait there is a shortened swing on the uninvolved side due to weakness on the involved side during loading. A hemi walker can be used as an assistive device with this gait pattern to help absorb the load placed on the involved weak side.